Hello YouTube. Welcome back to I Slay Spina Bifida. Here on this channel, we slay in all obstacles that comes our way. I'm your host, Dawn. Welcome back, my slay squads. What's up, family? We are on the road to 200 subs, you guys. Before we get into this video, please don't forget to like, share, comment. Make sure your notification bell is on so that you'll know every time I drop a video and you, you know you guys watch. Okay? Um today I'm going to be talking about since it's still Black History Month, I've been doing a lot of research on people that have been looked over in our black community and also people with disabilities. So today I am going to be talking about Johnny Lacey. Johnny Lacey was a director of community research for independent living in California and a contemporary and advocate, Ed Roberts. After acquiring a disability from polio at age 19, Johnny fought for the rights of people of color and people with disabilities. She was a strong leader and early member of the disability rights and independent living movement. So the reason why I chose to read about Johnny because I remember when I was in a nursing home or even before I was in a nursing home, I've always wanted to live on my own. And independency was a big deal for me. And people with disabilities, we're always labeled that we cannot do anything. Um, we're not able to live on our own. Or, or we're just becoming another number, another statistic. And I, for once... You know, I wanted to make sure that I was not going to be a statistic, you know. And so, independent was very, very important to me. And, you know, a lot of um, people still label um, us in the dis disability community, not just black people, but all race. Whatever disability we have. They labeled us as that, you know, we're not supposed to be living on our own. And we're supposed to be in an institution and not seen by the world. And that is so not true. You know, we can very well live on our own. There's a lot of researches out here to allow us to live independently. Um, a lot of people with disabilities don't really need a lot of home care services and things like that but for those who do you guys you can very well live on your own i i'm 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 a li living witness to that and living on my own is the best thing ever for me it's the best decision that i made and i have great support from my family, my friends, everybody that knows me. Um, and they encouraged me to, you know, continue to be independent. And that's, you know, that's very important. And I just want to tell who's out there right now thinking about living on your own and you know you have a disability. Try it. And I'm, I promise you, <laughs> you will not regret it you will not regret it um like i said wherever state you're in look up home care services if you know you need some help with living on your own and um it's okay that you know that you may need help because there are a lot of people who actually are paralyzed from the neck down live by themselves and let me tell you, they have home care services that will help them, um, 
you know, they'll even wait until somebody come and help them out the bed. And they enjoy living by themselves. So you don't have to be in no institution. You don't have to uh, be hidden behind the walls because you, you know, people because of what people say. It doesn't matter what people say. People don't know any better. People are ignorant. And so we have to fight for our rights and we have the right to live on our own. So shout out to Johnny Lacey. She fought the right to live independently. For the black community and for the disabled community. And I really appreciate her paving the way for us to live on our own. Because if it wasn't for people like her, I believe we would still be in institutions like the nursing home. And the nursing home ain't no way. It's just not a place for anybody to live, actually. Like I said, you can have home care service. There's home caregivers out here. Um, and if you don't want any stranger coming into your home to take care of you or your loved ones, then you could sit down and talk with your family or a friend who you really trust. And they can go through uh, agencies to get training to to help you out around the house. And that's exactly what I did. You know, yes, I I do have some help because there are certain things because of my disability that I'm not able to do. And I get help from my family. Um, I've tried um, working with people that, you know, that's not my family. It didn't really work out that, that well for me. But I still enjoy living on my own um i enjoy the peace and quiet i wake up when i want to i come in the house when i want to i'll leave the house when i want to you know it's just a a really good feeling you know what i'm saying so like i said if those out there who wants to live on your own please try it you can slay that thing you know we slay in all obstacles that comes our way. Put it, If you put your mind to it, you can do it. You can do it. You can do all things through Christ Jesus. You know, you don't have to feel like you don't belong because of your disability. And society failed to realize that we are human too. You know, we can live just as well as the next person. We can get married just the well, just as well as the next person. We can go on dates just the way, just as well as the next person. We can have jobs just as well as the next person. And I just say, go for it. Whatever it is that that's on your mind and in your heart to do, do it. Don't let anybody identify who you are. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do this or you can't do this and you can't do that because of your disability. I've I've been told that many times too. I've been told that a lot. But it didn't stop me. I still wanted to live on my own and I really like it. And I I I really appreciate my family who's been helping me out as well um to you know encourage me to live on my own because it's so important it's it's important independency is important especially in our disability community and people like Johnny Lacey shouldn't be looked over. We should, you know, give credit where credit is due. These people has has fought for our rights to live on our own and be independent. You know. So, don't be afraid 
to live on your own. I know I had um, did a video about my experience and gave tips about living on our own. Well, my own anyway. <laughs> and um, yeah, so you guys should go check that video out because um, I believe I gave out some really good tips about living on your own and things like that. So I just wanted to come on here and give credit where credit is due. Um, and don't go to sleep on these uh, people that's not being looked at. <laughs> Especially in our Black History Month, we should res do some research and see who else. And not saying that, you know, we shouldn't read about Martin Luther King. Of course we should. But I believe people like Johnny Lacey is, I'm hope, I hope I'm not butchering her name, but she's being looked over and we should talk about things like this. And let me know in the comments of um, what I just weren't, mm, I don't know why I can't talk, y'all forgive me. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about um, what I just read about Johnny Lacey. And if you out there who are disabled and you are watching this video, you can do it. You can do it. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. Don't listen to what other people say. Because people... You know, they just label us. And we don't want to be labels. You know, we want to live on our own and live life to the fullest. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Just because, you know, I'm having lack of mobility does not mean I'm not independent. I'm very well independent. Okay? Just because I have a little help does not mean I'm not independent. So... Think about that, you guys. And for those who was out there labeling people with disabilities, think about what you're saying. Think about your words before you blab it out. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just really rude to, to even think that people like me and my brothers and sisters who are disabled out there is not willing to be on their own because that's not true. There's a lot of research out here to allow us to be independent. So, I am going to end this video. Like I said, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you guys think about this. Until next time, my friends. Like I always say, I love you, but God loves you even more. Be blessed. Bye.